Hello everybody on YouTube, and for those of you who are on Second Life also, hello! Um, I wanted to do a tutorial for people who may be new for... Well, new in Second Life, sorry. I just woke up like a couple of minutes ago. But, um, there was something that I noticed some time ago about mainly uh, AOs in Second Life that some may be okay with, others may not be, I don't know. It's mainly on your personal preference, depending on how diverse you want your animations to be and how many you would like to get. Also, um, how many you are able to get, which uh, if you have been around Second Life, Animations in AOs could be quite expensive, especially if you want the really good ones, such as Vista anim Animations. But, uh, if you want to add more personality to your character, I guess you sh could go for it. But, <clears throat> for those of you who are new and find it difficult to get L, there are freebie AOs out there, so don't feel too left out. But today I am going to show you something that you could do with the Firestorm Phoenix uh, Viewer. Uh, it will help make it a bit easier to use the AOs that you have to make a custom AO more suited towards your personality. Now note, if you're one of those people, which I used to be, who has multiple AOs, and you would kind of have an AO fit a character, um, you may have to do this trick a couple times, depending on what you want to do. Me personally, I pretty much put all the AOs that I uh, liked and the animations that I liked into one AO, and so far it's been working. I, I, it's awesome. But let's get with it. Uh, today, uh, well, actually, you just have to go to a sandbox, or if you get your a place of your own where. You could have, um, I want to say 20 prims, estimated. I don't know, some AOs could be pretty prim heavy or not really prim heavy at all. But pretty much just res box, um, open your inventory, and type in your AO. Which means it's uh, Vista Animations HUD 3.9D. I got a lot of copies because um, a while ago, before they had the outfits, uh, you pretty much had to make like a whole new folder for an outfit if you wanted to save it. So yeah, I got duplicates all over the place. But I am going to use the latest one that I remember because I switched over to the uh, viewer AO uh, about a month or two ago because, well, it feels a bit better. now. I am going to disable my viewer AO temporarily and show you what I mean with the AO. <coughs> now some may think, okay, what could be wrong with this AO? It seems pretty fine to me. It's not that problematic. Um, here are personal, some pros and cons of having a Prem AO. Pros, you get um, buttons such as dance, so that you could just pop a button if someone's like, hey, you can't be parking on the club floor, you gotta be dancing. You could just do that, or if you wanna be like the tough guy and have your arms folded and, or moving around because you don't want your arms at your side, which I, could be understandable. I kinda like that feature. It's a bit of a bummer that I can't have in the AO, but what can you do? And other customizations. But like you saw in chat uh, let's see <coughs> okay I'm going to take it off and put it back on but the main thing that is a problem for me is that Vista Animations HUD 3.9D the coolest male AO V2 has 27 memory extra free and 29 memory free now, for those of you who may be scratching your heads and wondering what that means is, let's say you bought a couple extra animations and you wanted to put them into the AO. You could. I'm not saying that you can't. It's just a wee bit tricky unless you get some help or 
you look it up. But what that means is you only have so much space, kind of like a hard drive, to put so many animations in. After you fill it up, you can't put any more in, and if you try to, you could possibly break your AO. Which is a real bummer, because nobody wants to break their AO, and then try to talk to the creator, and then it gets just horrible. But with what I am about to show you, it pretty much solves it. I mean, sure, you can't fold your arms or have your arms active or whatever. Yes, it's a bummer, but trust me, it's well worth it when you want to have a lot more animations and not really worry about storage space. Well, storage space that I'm not aware of anyways, because I managed to jam-packed my viewer AO with a lot of animations, which you will see later on. Now back to what we were doing, uh, being a sandbox or a place that you could res that has a very long uh, auto return time because this may take a little while, I don't know, depends if you're new or not, uh, res out a block, uh, highly recommended, and stay in build mode, uh, trust me it will help you out. Take your AO and make sure that it is at least copyable. Uh, I don't know entirely if this will work. It's been a little while. Res it out. Uh, right click. Open. Loading contents. Yeah, this is the part that may take a wee bit of time. It's the loading of the contents and such. Alright, yeah. You could get the contents and copy it all to your inventory. Now, here's the thing. Uh, in order to make the transfer from the AO to your viewer AO, I would highly recommend making a folder in your animations. That way, you could easily just put it all in there and not have to worry. Or, I guess it could be simpler if you just copied it and went to recent. I don't know. It's all on your preference, I guess. We'll just copy it to inventory. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, that's going to be a lot. <coughs> now, we don't really need that AO anymore. We are done with it. Ah, uh, yeah, it copied completely in here. Wait, why am I, why is my animation still playing? Uh, yeah, it's still a little buggy. But, um, we pretty much got that part out of the way. Now I guess you could go home or wherever and not have to worry. Since we got the main, uh, sandbox thing out of the way. Unless you'd want to be looking, uh, Dorky someplace. Okay, I already made an AO, but uh, for the sake of this, because I really want people to possibly uh, know about this, uh, activate this animation set. Uh, we will do this in this tutorial AO. <coughs> this may be a bit late to say, but those of you who may be scratching your heads wondering, what does AO mean? It mean it stands for animation overrider, or so I can not understand it. All right, uh, we will pop tutorial A O one. All right. Now, if this is your first time doing it, uh, you should be welcome to this. Although you would have to make a set by clicking the uh, plus button, or by clicking the add A O on the list. After you have a proper name for your AO set, which, by the way, if you have multiple AOs, like I said, for uh, personalities or avatars, like you want to be sexy in one or you want to be strong in another, you could switch it. It's, it's just you got to get all the animations sorted and make sure that you put them in their, their proper place, which could get a little tedious and cross your eyes. I know it happened to me. Uh, now, with this open, uh, you have to sort through all the animations and see which ones you want to have. I think I'll just do a standard one for everyone here. As soon as I can find the stands. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, give you the rundown on it. Okay, first thing to do, or I'm sure some may have pieced together, or if you have not, uh, all you really got to do is have all the animations of the standing category that you want in to be playing while you're standing be highlighted. If you miss a few, you could always add them later. It's not that difficult. 
have them highlighted and just drag and drop. <coughs> Reloading configuration. Please wait. Uh, it may take a little time, especially with new animations and all that. Alright, uh, see, it's already working. Because it's playing VA, VA stand for or AF. Okay. Now here's the other parts of the AO that you may or may not want to know. Um, default. <coughs> Make this animation set the default set that players that plays when you log in. Pretty much in short, uh, if that confuses you, I don't know, I'm just trying to give information. Um, pretty much you log in and let's say you had a different AO or you were trying to make an AO. Uh, it'll just reset it to the one that you have that checked on. I do not recommend checking multiple because it may cause problems. Override sits, it'll pretty much override any and all sitting animations. Uh, be smart. This one is if you want a little immersion like keep override sits on but you want to be able to keep the animations of let's say that couch of yours or maybe the bed or something. Be smart will actually temporarily uh, disable the AO so that you can play the animations without any real problems. Uh, disable stands in mouth lo mouse look. Blech. I have not used that, but I don't really see why you would want to, I guess. Eh, some people may find it useful for, like, zombie shooting and whatnot. Um, cycle is self-explanatory. It pretty much just cycles through all the animations. Uh, I would actually recommend using randomized order. It'll just randomize the animations and keep people guessing. Cycle time and seconds. Um, this could be between, well, I guess you would have to figure out how long uh, animation is, but I usually have it between 15 and 30 seconds long. Uh, 30 if you kind of want to seem like you're all over the place. 30 if you just kind of relax and you just want to either hanging out. Now these arrows you pretty much switch through, make sure that your animations are working. And this, just to make it smaller. Uh, okay. uh, I'm going to go back to my test animation. But um, that's pretty much all there is to it for the viewer AO of Firestorm. Now, there are some notable things that I would like you all to know. Uh, depending on your computer, internet connection, and so on, so there could be some problems, and um, I know I ran into them, and I want you all to be wary about them. That way, you're not like, "What the hell? Uh, my animations are broken. Uh, I'm stuck playing an animation. Uh, all kinds of things." Because that happened to me. Uh, occasionally, if uh, you get a big lag spike or your inter internet connection cuts out then cuts back in real quick and let's say you were walking and everything goes back to normal and you tried to walk again it'll show you still playing the walking animation while you're standing still uh, it will happen all I gotta say is give it a little time uh, you could try going to avatar avatar health and stop avatar animations that may help, otherwise just give it a, little, a minute or two and it should pop back out, so just walk around a bit more and it'll eventually stop. Um, another thing is uh, default animation, like you're having no AO. That will happen mainly when you put in brand new animations into your AO set. The reason is because, well think of it this way. You just put in a new animation. It takes a while for the system to actually register, hey, there's a new animation, and I should be playing it. It will play it, it's just, you gotta give it a, a couple times to run over the animation, then eventually it'll run it flawlessly. I know uh, I got a couple problems with some of my animations, and it got pretty tricky, but it's awesome. Uh, so far, I do not know if there's a memory limit. Don't hold me on that. It, oh gee, it has unlimited memory, or I could put as many animations in. No, I did not say that. I said that 
you could put in a lot more animations and there's no real indicator oh hey you only have a certain amount of memory for your AO I have not seen that and so far you could theoretically put in as much as you could till you eventually break the AO I don't really know I just put in like two AOs total in the mine so all I gotta say is experiment if you uh, know more Go ahead, uh, make a video and link it down in the description. I mean, not description, uh, comments. And I'll probably put it up if you have more information on the Firestorm Phoenix AO. And for those of you who are new to Second Life and found this moderately uh, useful, I hope it did help. Because it may help in keeping a more of a personal personality. Uh, look and movement towards your character. I know I prefer to be as unique as possible, stand out from everyone. Everybody does. Because, well, it's your avatar. It's who you are. It's not what everybody else wants you to be or whatnot. But that's a rant for another day. Anyways, uh, I hope this little tutorial helped. If you have any questions, I'll be looking over the comments off and on. And I'll try to help you out best I can. And that'll be it. Excuse me. Uh, take care, everybody. And for those of you in Second Life, enjoy your day.